Hey, what is up, cops? And welcome back to GTA 5. Just kidding. This is not GTA 5. This is Minecraft. Quibble craft. And we're going to get straight into this. We're going to craft some new materials after we dump all of the stuff we do not need in this chest. So let's craft some materials. We actually do need some materials over. Anyways, cops, welcome back to another Minecraft video of Quibble craft. Quibble craft, the amazing series you cops love. And I'm doing this all for you cops because lots of you cops really, really, really really enjoy this amazing series why did i make that yep that was correct though i had to make that we're gonna work on our house today because our house is still not finished but it's almost finished we do not have enough sticks for that spade so let's create some more sticks let's create this spade and let's that was not a spade that was not a spade why would that why would they do that so we have some new stuff right now for our amazing house over here let's switch all these the material thing is over here. Beautiful. This is looking great. I can show you cops the house right now. As you can see, you get in here, you have the doors closed, and you open the doors. We should put some things on the floor over there. And here in the house, and over here is where the roof should be at. However, right now there's no roof, and that's too bad because we should start working on a roof fairly soon. Now we also have these trees, and we can chop down the trees and use the stuff that they drop. Such as, wait, we don't need this stuff. Such as spruce wood, and we need to use a spruce wood on top of this building thingy to make a, fl a floor for the for the next floor. Something like that. So what we're going to do is we're just going to chop down some trees, and then we're just going to chop down some more trees. And that's it. And then we're going to work in the house to make sure we finish up the house. Because the goal of this series is, <clears throat> I, was, I was thinking, like, we should set a goal up for the series and i was thinking i could do two goals or three goals like one of the goals would be that there's no goal so we'll just play until eternity the other one would be us killing the ender dragon and uh, the other goal would be us killing the wither now killing the wither can take a really long time and i was thinking i'll go for the ender dragon but of course as soon as we kill the ender dragon we'll have to see like what's actually going on and uh, how the series is doing and stuff like that but um that's our next goal our main goal right now to kill the ender dragon and we don't have any handicaps or anything we just need to kill the ender dragon and then we have completed that really big goal in the meantime you cubs can suggest loads of challenges you would like me to do on the series in the comment section below and i might put them in the sign and i've actually placed a sign from one of you cops in today's episode and that sign shall be revealed in a few minutes of course like i don't want to spoil it straight away and need to build up tension but one of you cops got a nice little sign sign in the tower of inspiration and um, i'll be placing that person's uh, thingy in there in a second i'll be showing it to you cops in a second so let's chop down this whole tree over here and then this one over there so, cops, what I do in this series is I mainly play Minecraft and I play it with you guys, for you guys, and I talk about things I like to talk about because, like, I don't really have a series where I can just talk about loads of dust. And one of the things I would like to talk about right now is GTA 5 on next gen. And you might have seen me tweet it out or put it on my Instagram or my Facebook page. What are you going to get GTA 5 on? And I'm still not sure what I should get it on. So I'm probably going to get it for both consoles. Right now I have an Xbox One. I still don't have a PS4, but I'm able to buy one fairly soon and i might just get gta on both both consoles of course uh, pc is not out until like mid-january so that's too bad but in the meantime i'll be playing it on next gen so for all the cops wondering you know oh blah 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 we want to see this we want to see that gta 5 related right now you're watching my of course but um i'm kind of building up towards two videos a day and i've been doing that for the past three four days right now with minecraft but as soon as gta on the next gen comes out i'll be doing it for that plus there are a lot of other games that are coming out too such as the crew which is a racing game too and i really really like racing games like i oh my god oops i hate driving cars in real life like i've, I've never done it i just don't want to do it but i love playing racing games and the crew is coming out for example the new Assassin's Creed's coming out, so me and Robus, we might do some um, some multiplayer on that, and um, 
but, but before before that all happens, I kind of want to finish Quibblecraft, or at least not finish it, but at least get a really main goal sorted. So that's going to be one of our priorities, and we still have our bed in this place. For all the cubs wondering, you know, asking questions all day about those things, that is one of the goals for this series. So killing the Ender Dragon, what we need is we need to find the End Portal, and we need loads of diamond stuff. We don't need diamond gear, but we do need some some other diamond stuff. So let's do this right now. Grab all of this stuff. And there you go. I think that should be enough for now. Why do we have a chicken over there? Why do we have a chicken over there? So what we're going to do is we're going to finish up the house. And then we kind of need to get some some diamond gear. Because uh, we don't need it all enchanted. We don't need really fancy gear. Like the, the dragon barely hits you anyways. There's like no point in... Um, and gearing all up and stuff like that. But uh, for all the cubs wondering, that's that's what we're going for right now. In the meantime, I'll be placing all these signs as I already said. So that's amazing. And the support has been great so far in the series. What is that dude doing over there? The support is amazing. And that, that's what I mostly like about the series, of course. Wow, well, oh, I almost put the pot of junk over there. Because this is something we do together as a team. And yeah, team stuff's always the best. Let's go over here, and this also, with this series, I can I can inter interact with the cops more. Because uh, it's really hard, and trust me, it's really hard to, um, to read all the comments and reply to all the comments and reply to all the tweets and reply to all the Instagram posts. Like, Instagram is just not possible. It's just not possible. I sometimes read the, or uh, like I may most of the time read the comments, but there's just no way I can reply to all of them. YouTube gets a bit easier, but it's still really hard, and Facebook is, like, impossible, impossible to reply to. Twitter, I do, like, I'm, I'm probably most active on Twitter. Um, so if you want to tweet me something and get a reply, then I'd say do it on Twitter, of course. Um, but besides that, it's really hard to interact with the amazing cops, and I love interacting with you cops. I love doing meetups and stuff like that. And that's why I love Quibblecraft too, because in some way we can interact with each other and it makes it feel like we're having a connection and, and that's what I like and that's what I do it for, of course, because I want to I wanna talk to you cops. If, if I could, I'd be talking to all of my su subscribers, all of my amazing cops every single day, but it's just really hard to do. And, you know, you need to... You don't have time for that. You don't have the uh, right tools for that. So it's just, you know, this series makes it feel like I can talk to you, cops. And it's good. That's what I like about it. And also, um, it's not just this series. It's like loads of series we could do. But I kind of also need to, like, I could do a video talking to cops. But that's just not, that do just doesn't fit on the channel, you know. I don't know why it does this, but my micro just keeps crashing and doing weird stuff. But anyways, it's like us playing together, and it's it's the closest I can get to interacting with all my cops, and that's something I really, really like about this series and all the other things Minecraft-related or, like, gaming-related we can do together and get challenges and stuff like that. So, let's place all these things over here. There you go, and then we need to remove it and then place it over here. Do we have enough? Yeah, we should have more than enough. More than enough. So, what did I do yesterday, you might ask? Well, yesterday I met up with Expert Thief. He's a pretty big gaming YouTuber, and he also has an amazing vlogging channel, or like a real-life channel. I don't really know what to, to classify that as. Um, but he was a really nice... He's, he's a really nice guy, like, props to him. Um... And I also met up with like a lot of other YouTubers over there and people that do video related stuff and stuff like that. They, it, it was like, it was really cool to meet all those guys. They were from America and they were in Amsterdam and you know, I showed them around, I showed them around, ooh. Um, showed them like some nice spots and we went sightseeing kinda. And that was great. So the roof is done. Now a big problem with these roofs is that mobs will spawn on it. So let's place torches over here. I clearly do not have enough for this. But, uh, well, let's not pick up that stuff over there. As you can see, this is what the house looks like right now, cops. I think it looks pretty sick. So what we're going to do is we're going to place some torches inside of the house. We need to get some coal for this. And, oh, we already have coal. We just need some sticks for that. 
There you go. And now we have loads of them. Loads of torches. And we can place these torches inside of this building. There you go. And I always get the question, like, lo loads of cops always ask, like, what's your favorite game, Quibble? And I kind of like, GTA is, like, my favorite game, but I love playing loads of different games, too, of course. Like, it's not like I only play GTA, of course. Um, I think this is good. What do we need to do now? I'd say we go for a Minecraft diamond hunt. Let's go and hunt some diamonds. Let's go and find some diamonds. So, what we need to do is we need to dig down, and this can take, uh... Take take some tools from us, iron pickaxe, because we do not want to um, be down there and stuck and not able to build our way up anymore. So what we're gonna do is just gonna go down over here, I'd say. So we always have a staircase to rely on, and if we're like, oh, I love that th this this stone we're mining right now, because uh, it looks good. It looks nice and wide and stuff, and I like that. I like that color for buildings and. Other thingies. I also asked you cops in the previous episode, what color should we make uh, the wall? Now, the wall, I don't know yet what kind of color, like what kind of color, what kind of material we want to make it. And uh, I kind of want to think about it for a bit longer. I came up with some great ideas, like loads of you cops posted some nice comments about it. And, you know, it's not something you think about straight away. Like, you're like oh man, this is great. Because uh, there's so many possibilities and, you know, that's uh, that's what, what I want, want to do sure we did correctly. So, let's grab this iron over here. Don't really need it, though. But, oh, well, we'll just grab it. Why not? It's quite a lot, actually. Quite a lot of iron over here. There you go. Bam. And now we can dig a bit more down. I think we need a total. I think we need 15 more. 15 more, probably, yes. And then we need to get a few diamonds, and then we can go and work on the nether. Going to the nether, of course, because we need to get a diamond pickaxe. And as soon as we go to the nether, we can make a thingy to... Oh, lapis, I like it. We need to get some enchanted iron gear. That's probably what we're going for. And eventually go to the... End. And when we're in the end, we can go and kill the Z dragon. And we're gonna get get a good bow, I'd say. So getting a good bow is, uh, is something we really need. So we need a few more blocks. This is 10, 9, 8, one more, 7. There you go. So this is the place we want to be at. This is where our mine's gonna be. And all we have to do is mine in, like, chunks right now. That's what I used to do, and it used to work quite really well, actually. It used to work really, really, really well. Probably the best mining technique I've ever seen so far in the world of Minecraft. So we're just going to mine all these blocks and everything, everything like this. And then a bit more. One more. Okay, there you go. And then you go to the right, and then you find diamonds. Yeah, you find diamonds. Nope, no diamonds. But you basically mine out chunks. Now, we don't have an efficiency pickaxe or, like, something that just blasts through all this stuff. However, we do have an iron pickaxe, and it should should do the job for, for now. So, eventually, you've dug, like, a few blocks. Then you go back, and you just zigzag. And you make it into one beautiful creation. And uh, a lot of you cops might be like, what the heck are you doing? But this actually discovers diamonds the fastest and is probably the best way to find diamonds. So um, that's what we're going to do. We're just going to continue this and just keep on digging all of this stuff out and stuff like this. There you go. And now you see you're back at the original place. And you continue it over here. And eventually you'll make it back to the other place. Or like you won't really make it back actually. We kind of have to assure that we do make it back. Um, so you just dig this a few blocks. We should make uh, make some more tools actually. Do that in a second. Okay, that's gravel. Let's go back right now. Let's make some more tools over here. And we'll make a little place we can just... Relax. Oh, we do have enough wood. That's good. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. And then we can make a furnace over here. We do have loads of iron with us anyways. And then, bam! There you go. And should we also make a chest? 
Yes, we should. Because we have loads of stuff. It's um, it's probably the best if we just store it instead of just dropping it on the ground. So these are all the things I do not... We do not need carts and let's go back into this place. That thingy and make another iron pickaxe. And we have another one. So let's use this one and we'll break the other one in a second. It will do it automatically. And then we should find diamonds in a second. Or we don't know when we're going to find diamonds. But we, we should find them eventually. That's just how it works. You, you'll have to find diamonds. That's how it works. You can't live without diamonds. That's just not possible. More stuff. You can also just place a torch down here. And it can just do like the fast, fast way. There you go, there you go, there you go. That's so much faster. And there did our thingy break. So let's hit all of these things. And do the same thing over here. There you go. Because there could be diamonds up here too. M you might be wondering like, how does that work then? But there could be diamonds everywhere. And, oh wait, it's, uh, let me, let me, rem there you go. I had to, I had to move the iron pickaxe. And I think we just got everything. And we got our torches back. Wait, nothing happened with this one. Bam. There you go. Okay, so now we need to continue this track. As you can see, there are no diamonds over here. If you spot any diamonds, cops, please, please, please tell me in the comment section below. So I know what diamond and stuff I missed and where I can find some more amazing diamonds. In the meantime, we're just going to keep on digging this uh, place over here. And then zigzag some more. So we go back over here. And then get all this coal and stuff like that. Eventually, we should come back at our original place once again. Yep, we did. And we're just going to continue over here. We'll, we'll find diamonds in, 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 in a bit. In a bit. We'll have to see how long it's going to take us. But we'll have to find them fairly soon, I'd say. Uh, so let's take all of this stuff. And zigzag some more over here. So this is the next one to zigzag at. And then we should find diamonds. No, nope, still no diamonds. Still no diamonds, cops. But we'll we'll come we'll come across them in a second. Um, I've uh, I've I showed this theory in my other Cobblecraft series, and it really worked out. Uh, like I was like, okay, so there could be diamonds over here, and then we find di find found diamonds. Uh, right now, it's just not really working out. Um, but that doesn't matter because. You know, I always say, sometimes you can find it, sometimes you can't find it, and sometimes everyone will find everything or whatever like that. Something like that. So we're just going to do and keep on going. And we should eventually step upon like this place. And over here we turn around, and then we go this way. That's iron. That's something we don't really want, but like we don't mind to have it, but it's like not something we're looking for. This is granite. Yes, I'm starting to learn the names. And diamonds are next to it. I can smell it. I can smell the diamonds. Can you smell the diamonds too? I, you probably can't. So let's turn to the left over here. And keep going, keep going, keep going. And then we should find diamonds in a second. Come on, guys, we can find diamonds. We can find diamonds before this episode end. Nope, we found coal. And we kind of missed one spot. We're, we're like one thingy off. But oh, well, that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter at all. That doesn't matter at all. Because right now it's more important that we find some diamonds. Come on, no, no diamonds. Uh, what about this place? What about this place? There should could be some diamonds over here. We might need to get another pickaxe in a second, so we'll have to uh, we'll have to get a new amazing pickaxe. But uh, we'll finish. Okay, let's go and do this one now. I kind of don't want to dig out all the uh, gravel again over there, so we'll just move it out, move it out of the way, and just keep on digging this path. Place a torch over here, and just keep digging, keep digging, keep digging, keep digging. Oh no, more gravel. Let's do this one. Now, this is tricky because there could be diamonds like right next to this one. However, we won't find out if we don't dig this one. So, we'll probably have to dig it in a second. 
Um, Cause if there are diamonds over there and we miss it, then there's a chance. I'm just gonna mess up the whole tactic. I don't think there are any diamonds over here. Don't see anything. Anyways, Cubs, I'm gonna end the episode right over here. Thanks for watching this amazing Crumble Craft video. I'm gonna dig myself until I find diamonds in the next episode. We will have diamonds. So, Cubs, thanks for watching. Be sure to drop a like if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you Cubs tomorrow. Bye bye. Better wise man on a mountain top. And then I asked him, What's the secret part? The people down below.